Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we are going to see how to solve a rendered exact differential equation with the help of second technique to find integrating factor. Before proceeding to see what is the technique to find integrating factor, I want you to recall from my previous video following things, namely what is exact differential equation? What is rendered exact differential equation? What is an integrating factor? And how to find solution to rendered exact differential equation with the help of integrating factor? You can find the link of those two videos in the description box. Now let us see second technique to find out integrating factor. If a differential equation of the type m dx plus n dy is equal to 0, is not exact and if daba n by daba x minus daba m by daba y whole divided by m is a function of y alone say f of y then we say integrating factor is e raised to integration of f of y into dy do you remember in technique one we have taken the expression daba m by daba y minus daba n by daba x whole divided by n over there we saw if it is a function of x alone, say f of x, then integrating factor was e raised to integration of f of x dx. Here situation is completely different. Here we have taken expression daba n by daba x minus daba m by daba y whole divided by m. And if this expression terms to be function of y alone, then we take integrating factor as e raised to integration of f of y dy. Now after finding this integrating factor, we multiply the given differential equation with it. Then that differential equation turn into an exact differential equation. And we have already seen how to find out solution to exact differential equation. Now let me show you some solved examples of, of the similar type. Here question is to find the solution to the differential equation y into xy plus e raised to x into dx minus e raised to x dy is equal to 0. Very first of all, we will see whether the given differential equation is exact or not. For that, we have to compare the given differential equation with m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. We see m is y into xy plus e raised to x whereas n is minus e raised to x. Now we find daba m by daba y and daba n by daba x. In this case daba m by daba y is 2xy plus e raised to x whereas daba n by daba x is minus e raised to x. Since daba m by daba y and daba n by daba x are not equal, we say the given differential equation is not exact. Now we see what is the value of the expression daba n by daba x minus daba m by daba y whole divided by m. We will substitute these derivative values over here in the numerator. We see it is equal to minus e raised to x minus 2xy minus e raised to x whole divided by m which is y into xy plus e raised to x. From numerator you can take minus 2 common to get minus 2 into xy plus e raised to x. So we see this xy plus e raised to x gets cancelled with the similar term from the denominator and we are left with minus 2 by y. So we see this expression turns to be function of y alone we say this is f of y. So f of y is minus 2 by y. Carry forwarding this function on my next slide. Now we will find out an integrating factor given by the formula e raised to integration of f of y dy. That is in this case e raised to integration of minus 2 by y dy which is equal to e raised to minus 2 log y. Using log property, we will have this is equal to e raised to log y raised to minus 2, which is same as 1 by y square. Now, our integrating factor is 1 by y square. 
we will multiply the given differential equation with it to convert it into an exact differential equation. So after multiplying it with integrating factor, we get a new differential equation as y into xy plus e raised to x whole divided by y square into dx minus e raised to x whole divided by y square into dy is equal to 0. Now when we compare this with m dx plus n dy is equal to 0, we get our new m and n. So our new m is this and n is this. Now since this differential equation is an exact differential equation, its solution is given by integration of m dx treating y constant plus integration of terms in n free from x into dy is equal to c formula. We will substitute for m dx here and we will substitute terms in n free from x over here and we will evaluate these integrals. So m dx is this. Since there is no term in n which is free from x, we write 0 here is equal to c. Now let's evaluate this integral. From this first term, this y square will get cancelled with the denominator y square. And in second term, we will have y e raised to x upon y square, which is just e raised to x upon y. So integrating x here, we will get x square by 2. And integration of e raised to x is e raised to x. We get it is equal to x square by 2 plus e raised to x by y is equal to c. This is solution to the given differential equation. I hope you understood this solution. Let me show you one more example of the similar type. Here the differential equation is xy cube plus y dx plus 2 into x square y square plus x plus y raised to 4 dy is equal to 0. First of all, we will check whether it is exact differential equation or not. So we compare it with m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 and get what is m and n. Then we find partial derivatives of m and n with respect to y and x respectively. So here we find dabba m by dabba y is 3xy square plus 1 and dabba n by dabba x is 2 into 2xy square plus 1. Since both of these are not equal, we say the given differential equation is not exact. Now we find value of the expression dabba n by dabba x minus dabba m by dabba y whole divided by m. It is equal to 2 times 2xy square plus 1 minus 3xy square minus 1 whole divided by xy cube plus y. Let us simplify the numerator part. We get it is equal to xy square plus 1. From denominator, we can take out y common. Then inside, we will have xy square plus 1 which will get cancelled with the term from the numerator. So we end up with 1 by y. Clearly value of this expression is a function of y alone. We say it is equal to f of y. Then integrating factor is given by e raised to integration of f of y dy which is e raised to integration of 1 by y dy which is same as e raised to log y. Since this log is with base e, integrating factor will be equal to y alone. Now we will multiply the given differential equation with this integrating factor to convert it into exact differential equation. So the new differential equation becomes y into xy cube plus y into dx plus 2y into x square y square plus x plus y raised to 4 dy is equal to 0. Now we compare it with m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. We get new m and n. And then we use the formula to find out solution to this exact differential equation which is integration of m dx treating y constant plus integration of terms in n free from x into dy is equal to c. Let's substitute values for these integrands. So in first term we get integration of 
y into x y cube plus y dx plus for second term we get terms in n which are free from x which is only 2y raised to 5 into dy is equal to c. Let's evaluate these integrals. Value of first integration is x square by 2 into y raised to 4 plus xy square plus value of second integration is 2y raised to 6 upon 6 is equal to c. This is solution to the given differential equation. I hope you understood every step of it. Now I have two more examples which I left for DIY. This is example number 3. Similarly, this is example number 4. I hope you will solve this example at your end and let me know in comment box whether you are able to solve these examples or not. One more important thing that I wanted to tell you that whenever the first rule of finding integrating factor fails, then only you use the second rule of finding integrating factor. So basically this is a trial and error method. Whenever the first technique of finding integrating factor fails, then only you will go for finding integrating factor using second technique. I hope you like this video. Please do subscribe my channel as well as share this among your friends. It will definitely help me and encourage me to record more such videos in future. Thank you all of you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.